Example four is another design problem to find out a uh, maximum spacing, allowable maximum spacing based on the given conditions. Here in this example, we have five boards are bolted together to form a built up beam. If the beam is subjected to a shear force of 15 kips, then determine the maximum spacing allowable of the bolts. Uh, to be the nearest one eighth inch. So each bolt has a shear strength of uh, six kips. Okay, although is called shear strength here, but look at the unit it's kips. So actually here, this is not the allowable tall. This is a allowable v, right? So here is actually v pin allowable equals six kips. Okay, this is the given condition. Oh as you so we just uh, start from the first step. We determine the V max or the V value, this is a constant. It has been given this is fifteen fifteen kips. Then uh, step two, we're finding Y bar and I it's a y bar equals what? Okay, the dimensions, a lot of details of the dimension have been given in the first figure. Then we can summarize these numbers in the second figure. You can see here the thickness of uh, the, the the side border, the, the, the side bo boards are 0 0.5 and their height is 4. Right, this is 0 0.5 and 4. And you can see that the height of the central board is six. Okay, the six. Then we can summarize other details. You can know that here is one, right, one. And so what is the distance from the top to here? This is actually two. Right. Then you have another two here. So here is the local centroid, and the global centroid. Okay. So based on these numbers, we can uh, determine the y bar. So obviously the y bar will be four plus one. Why well, that would be five inches either from the top or from the bottom. Right. Then we determine the I. I can just uh, sum the ICI plus AIDI square of the five boards. Okay. We just need to do two calculations since four of them will share the same value. Right just need to do two calculations. So one of them multiply by four, then you get the results. Okay, so here we just uh, look at one of the small board. One of the small board is um, ICI would be 0 0.5 times four cube over 12 plus the area is just 0 0.5 times four And the D, D values, will be from the local centroid, local centroid to the global centroid. Right? This is the D value. The D will be well, three, right? Times three. This is the D value. D square. Okay, times four um, plus one times six cube over twelve plus zero. 
Okay, and the central uh, board, its d value is just zero. Okay, the the i number we'll calculate will be one hundred and one hundred point seven inch to the fourth. Okay, and the third step, q equals a d. Now we're just looking at the board number one. Okay, so this is area which is isolated. So the A will be 0 0.5 times 4, and the D value, actually, we already determined that it's 3, right? This is the Y bar, Y bar is 5 minus half of the uh, half of the, the, the depths that is. Uh, uh, two four over two. Right? So y bar y bar is five minus four over two. This is also how we determine the three. Right? And here the result will be six. And step four. Um, we're calculating the shear flow. That is V Q over I. You have the V that is fifteen kips times six over one hundred and seven. We got eight hundred and ninety-four pound per inch. Well, the last step, oh, first of all, we will just list the the core equation. I'm times the v v pin allowable. So larger than Q S. Okay, here what is the value of M? Okay, you have just one row of bolts, right? So m equals 1. And the v pin allowable equals 6, k, uh, six kips. That is 6,000 pounds. Okay, so the s is smaller than m v pin allowable over q. It is six thousand over eight hundred and ninety-four. This is approximately six and five eighths inch. Since so you're requested to determine it to the nearest one eighth inch. Okay, so this is the the answer. Okay, this is the answer. However, honestly, this is not a good design. Okay, <laughs> there's no problem. We do this calculation, but this is this design is not very good. If I design this beam, I will add um, an additional row of bolts. Okay, I will add. Additional row of bolts here. Okay, in that way, you have two rows of bolts to connect these these boards. Okay, to make it safer and more stable. Okay, so if you agree with me, you can do another round of calculation to check if you have two rows of bolts. Okay. What are the um, allowable maximum space? Okay, you can repeat this process and uh, to find out what will be the answer. Okay.